Hey guys, Jay here, and uh, just going to do a small unboxing, and I got this from Power Hobby. Um, Power Hobby is, uh, if you don't use them, they're uh, pretty good, they, they ship out quick. Um, if you use the Power Hobby, Power Hobby 10 code, you can get 10% uh, off, which I did on this, and... There you go. So, this is my first quad, and it came with um, came with two additional batteries. Um, besides, I guess the one that already comes with the quad. So I got two free batteries with it. Sometimes they have cool deals like that. If you buy an RCM, often they give you um, you know free. Um, battery, but um, you know, it's usually nothing Nothing too great, but free is always good you can find a way to use it or pass it on to somebody else So two batteries with this already um, So I don't know if I'm gonna crack this open because um, I'm doing the one-handed production and um, Let me see if I can at least pull it out of the box my my handy camera stand <laughs> still working on getting a camera stand okay so my first quad um, 180 um, QX uh, blade um, so the free batteries with it um, so for the longest time um, you know I was kind of uh, toiling over um, what quad to get um, I had plans for buying um, a DJI Phantom and um, Something just kept bothering me about it. Um, I had plenty enough money for it and all that. Um, it would have been a once in a lifetime chance to be able to buy something like that. Um, cause I just don't have a thousand dollars lying around the house. Um, you know, often. So I started to think about the DJI Phantom and what it can do. And then I started thinking about, um, what did I want out of a quad? What what do I want it to do? Um, and for anyone who owns a DJI Phantom, um, I'm not, um, you know, I'm not bad mouthing the quad. I think it's a great quad, but it is what it says it is. It's a flying camera, and um, I wanted something, um, you know, that could you know, do flips. I actually, what I wanted out of a quad, and I still haven't completely got it, was I wanted something I can film with. Okay, I got that there. Um, wanted something that will do um, aerobatics, and I got that there. Um, wanted something that would fly really good. Um, the other thing that I wanted was I wanted um, some LEDs um, for night flights, which um, the 180QX, I believe, does not have. Um, so, um, so I've got most of what I wanted in here, um, you know, with, with the DJI Phantom, um, you know, once you take the camera off, it's, it's a quad and, um, it doesn't do any tricks as far as I know or the videos I've seen. So... To me, and this is just my opinion, uh, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I just think that for what I wanted out of a quad, the DJI, DJI Phantom is very one-dimensional. It's, you know, like, I, again, it's like what it says it is. It's a, it's a flying camera. Um, so I wanted this, I wanted a quad that would be able to do tricks and stuff like that. And just, you know, be able to take the camera off and just have fun with it. 
um, not just always be filming all the time. So I looked at some other ones. Um, I was actually interested in um, the Helimax um, 1SQ uh, V-Cam. And it got some really good ratings. It was very mini, um, which didn't bother me. Uh, it had the camera. It had LEDs. Um, it could do aerobatics, but the problem with it was that um, when it did aerobatics from what I seen, um, when it flipped, it would pretty much, and even from a high height, when it did a flip, it would pretty much wouldn't recover until it just barely hit the ground. Um, and it got great reviews. Um, some people overlooked that. Um, I know it had some issues like when the camera worked really good, it worked really good. Um, but when it worked bad, it worked bad. Um, so, um, I looked at the Blade, um, QX350, but, um, I don't know, something about that. I think it was, a, it was the same thing as the DJI Phantom, uh, one-dimensional, and then it had that big antenna that sticks up from it, or some versions. That's, I guess that's the newer version, where it has, like, an antenna. Um, sticking up so I was like I don't know I just I didn't like the look of it and again there was that one dimensional thing um, I looked at the blade 200 QX and I think that was strictly a bind and fly which um, like I've said before I I only um this is my first quad so I don't have a spectrum remote for it um, so anyways, um, that that led me to this. I had watched videos on this. Um, everyone liked the flight characteristics of this and what it could do and how it was stable in high winds and all that stuff. And um, and uh, But they kind of griped about the camera a little bit. Um, so that kind of leads me to my next unboxing. And... Um, this one comes from Action Cam. Okay. So, it looks like I'm going to have to set you down again. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, okay, so now you can see when I am when I when I say do an unboxing and I haven't looked at it. Um, now you can t you can tell that I was telling the truth because I didn't know that I had to unwrap all that. But anyways, this is what I got. I got a, a Mobius action camera. Um, I am going to have to call them. Um, because, um, I don't know, I'm not sure, I will call them, um, the reason being is, um, when I was checking out, um, I had noticed something about this camera, and one of the problems was, um, that, um, I guess people had said they get interference issues. So when I was checking out, I had noticed that it said something for RC enthusiasts, and I looked on it, and it said you can now get the Mobius um, cam action cam with shielding. So I looked it up and said, well, it's better. It wasn't that much more. Well, actually, it was a little bit more, yeah, um, to get the shielding. So... Um, 
So I bought the shielding, but it said that everything is the same, everything looks the same except for the buttons. The buttons will have a gold color to them. And I can see behind the buttons that there's some kind of some kind of uh coloring, but I just want to make sure that I got what I paid for because this cost almost a hundred bucks. Um, they shipped it out really fast. Um, came with um, the USB port and a car charger. That was I bought the basic package. Um, actually, I think the basic package. Uh, I may be wrong, but I think that the basic package was the only one that had the shielding. I'm not sure about that. Um, basic wide lens and the basic standard I didn't get wide lens um, I saw um, the differences between wide lens and uh, standard and wide lens yeah you see a lot more but the quality of the video suffers so I thought it'd be better to just have more quality so um, in going back to the blade and having problems with its camera and stuff this was my alternative to uh, strap this to the blade um, hopefully that, I've seen people do it um, hopefully that'll work out a little bit better uh, I don't know anything about this camera other than a lot of people like to use it it's pretty good as far as I know um, looks like you can hook it up to some sort of a tripod which um, I would definitely be interested in doing um, plus I also would like to somehow mount that on uh, my axial rate so I can do um, FPV vids um, you know, of crawling through the mud and the woods and stuff like that. That would be just awesome. Um, oh, <laughs> the other thing that came in with <laughs> the camera is some lifesavers. I have no idea. Someone's got a great sense of humor over there. Um, I've had this done to me before where someone sent me candy. Um, I think, um, oh, now I can't even think of it. I can't even think of it. It's an RC place. I think it's Liquid RC. Um, I buy a lot of pots from Liquid RC, and they're out of New Hampshire. And they'll like send me feedback on eBay, and it says, make sure to drink plenty of water and use suntan lotion or something <laughs> like that. So some of these RC companies, they got great senses of humor. Um, I guess I will check on this just to make sure um, that I do have the shielding on there. Um, so that I'm not getting any interference, um, any glitching. Um, I don't know if those are like, I've never heard anyone complain about it, but I guess it was a situation. And I guess Mobius um, thought to um, correct it or rectify it. But um, I guess that's it for this unboxing. Uh, sorry for a long video. Um, anyways, take care guys. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.